show. Might as well finish this up and show Vince too. I thought Murray was talking. Off the field. Here we have our Cambridge 6 inch biking wall being installed in the field. One helpful tip is to use a straight edge along the back of the wall to ensure that your front line of the... Let me start that over. What am I saying there? Okay. What are, what are, we, what are we demonstrating here? Dan's going to get pins. Here we have our Cambridge 6 inch biking wall outside 90 degree corner application. Here's the unit that we split. Um, just left side or the right side? Is it your right side corner piece? This is a real short take right here. Alright, biking. Here we have our Cambridge. Here we have our Cambridge biking wall in a 90 degree outside corner application. As you can see, we've set up the. Here we have our Cambridge Viking Wall in a 90 degree outside corner application. As you can see, we've set up our base course and we're starting to make our 90 degree turn. We recommend that the corners in the Viking Wall system be glued. You're going to use your concrete adhesive and apply a bead of glue on your cut cornerstone as well as on the end of your adjacent block. Once that glue is in place, take your other cornerstone, place it on top, and you're ready to go. Here we've got our corner. As you can see, we've used both units from our field split unit. One important thing about the corner is every other course is turned 90 degrees to give you an interlocking function as you go from course to course to course as you build your wall system. I recommend that you use adhesive when constructing the Viking corner. You'll use concrete adhesive, lay a bead on your cut corner piece as well as the adjacent stone. Take the stone for your next course, position it on top like so, and then continue building your wall left and right. Thank you.